she is in there. The time to settle this has come. Show you this hatred of mine, all of it. Big brother, could you please help me with my shoot again today? I'm busy. Why don't you ask father? You're better at shuriken jutsu. Even I can tell that. Why do you always treat me like such a pest? Sasuke. Sorry, Sasuke. Maybe next time. If you want to kill me, then learn to hate me. My name is Sasuke Uchiha. There are plenty of things I hate, but I don't see that it matters, considering there's almost nothing I like. It seems pointless to talk about dreams. That's just a word. But what I do have is determination. I plan to restore my clan, and there's someone I have sworn to kill. Finally. Finally, I made it. So you're here. Sasuke. I'm going to sever all ties with you. <laughs> you sound quite fired up. When I think that I'll be able to bury you here, power surges up inside me. <laughs> bury me, hmm? Before that, I have one thing to ask. What could you want to know now? That night, the night you destroyed the Uchiha clan, did you really do that alone? Why would you think that? For no matter how good you were, you couldn't have taken down the entire clan. There must have been someone else there that night. So you realized. Who was it? Who helped you? Madara Uchiha. Madara Uchiha? One of the founders of the Hidden Leaf Village. An immortal man who is both my comrade and my mentor. A founder? Then how could he still be alive? Madara is alive. Whether you want to believe me or not is your choice. Quit joking around! Every single one of us lives depending on and bound by our knowledge and awareness. And we call it reality. However, both knowledge and awareness are equivocal. One's reality might be another's illusion. What are you trying to say? That you thinking Madara is dead is just your arbitrary assumption. Your eyes haven't grasped a single truth. You don't see anything. It's true that I don't know anything about Madara, but there's one thing that even my eyes see just fine. And what do they see? What I'm seeing right now. Itachi is you, dead at my feet.
Me did at your feet, hey? Let's get to it. Over. Is this the death you had imagined for me? <laughs> you really have gotten stronger, Sasuke. Without this, I would have been dead. <laughs> now it comes for real. This is my trump card. The Susano. Susano. Out of 
are mine. What are you saying? Isn't there anything I can do? How can I defeat him? Give up. You lose. Shut up! What should I do? No matter what you 
do. It's pointless. I'll have to stand down. Now it's over. Is this the end? It's no use. My chakra is almost... I guess there's no choice. Why would you You're pathetic, do something little like brother. this? Settle for hating me. You promised to teach me new shuriken jutsu. Sorry, Sasuke. Another time. Big brother, you're so far away. It's just the two of us. I'll always be with you, you know. I treated your wounds. Itachi is dead. You won. We've met once before, although we were enemies then. Don't worry. I don't hold Daedara's death against you. I'm not your enemy. I brought you here in order to tell you something. Something? Yes. It's about Itachi Uchiha. <laughs> you think you know everything about your brother, but you actually don't. How do you know about Itachi? All right. I suppose I should start by introducing myself. I, like you, I'm an Uchiha survivor. And one of the few who know the truth about your brother. What? 
was that? The Amaterasu, which Itachi seems to have implanted in you. <laughs> Leave it to Itachi to set a post-mortem trap. I can't believe how well he plans ahead. What are you talking about? In order to keep me away from you, Itachi placed a jutsu in you. He really must have wanted to stop you hearing the truth from my lips. <sighs> what are you talking about? Itachi did something to you before he died. <sighs> At the very end, he transferred his own ocular powers to you. What are you saying? Is there a point to all this? Why would Itachi do such a thing? Don't you get it? <gasps> he was trying... ...to protect you. Protect me? Are you kidding? He's my enemy. He killed our parents, destroyed our clan, and he... I told you. You think you know about your brother, but you know nothing. Shut up! What do you know about Itachi? Itachi did mention it, did he not? He was not alone that night. Then you are... That's right. I... am Madara Uchiha. I know everything about Itachi. I know what he thought, what he wished, what he loved, and what he risked to fight. I know all of it. Your duty is to hear about the truth and life of Itachi Uchiha. It's you. He... Itachi fought me. He's tortured me for years. And it's a fact that he destroyed our clan. He destroyed the Uchiha! And if that were a mission he'd received from the Hidden Leaf Village? <laughs> That's just the beginning of the truth about Itachi. A mission? You said? That's right. Itachi completed his assignment that night by slaughtering everyone. But I still don't understand. <laughs> All ears now, I see. He. Itachi ended up being a sacrificial pawn in a long-standing power struggle. Sacrificial pawn? The Hidden Leaf Village. It is a large village now, but waves of history churn at its base. In particular, discrimination towards the Uchiha Discrimination towards the Uchiha? Originally, the Hidden Leaf Village was formed by a group of ninja who'd previously been in conflict. Our Uchiha clan was among them. When the Hidden Leaf Village was founded, our clan held central power along with the other clans. But after we failed to take the seat of the first Hokage, the Uchiha gradually fell from power. I, the Uchiha leader, despaired at our fall, and at last, I left the village. After I'd gone, the Uchiha continued to lose power. And finally, 
They were treated as nuisances in the village. In the end, the Uchiha weren't needed. They were discriminated against. Of course, there were those who couldn't accept that. It's only natural. In order to retake power for the Uchiha, and above all else to regain their pride, they had a plan. To take over the Leaf Village with your father as leader. A coup d'etat, you could say. The Uchiha clan. A coup d'etat. And my... My father, the leader. The Hidden Leaf Village leaders caught wind of the plot and sent in a spy to watch the Uchiha clan. That spy was your older brother, Itachi Uchiha. <laughs> the Uchiha clan or the Hidden Leaf Village. It's hard to imagine what Itachi felt as he chose between them. He ultimately chose the Hidden Leaf Village. So why? Why would Itachi betray the Uchiha? The Third Great Ninja War. What he saw made Itachi put the peace and stability of the village first. All wars are hell. The village leaders took advantage of Itachi's feelings and gave him a mission. That mission. was the eradication of the entire Uchiha clan. <gasps> At the time, Itachi worried and fretted and agonized. He was mired in terrible distress. Considered rationally, one could never raise his hand against fellow clansmen. If the Uchiha coup d'etat were to go ahead, the village would crumble, and other villages would attack. It could have easily become the trigger for the fourth Great Ninja War. The selfish act of the Uchiha clan would lead to the deaths of many innocents. That had to be avoided at all costs. And so, Itachi made his decision that he himself would drop the curtain on his own clan's history. <laughs> Which led to that night. It was a mission to become known as a criminal who murdered his own clan, to bear the burden of disgrace all planned. It was all part of the mission. Hitachi brilliantly discharged the plan. His mission. Except for a single mistake. Even after he closed his heart, and become a demon of destruction. There was one person, just one, whom Hitachi could not kill. His little brother. Afterwards, Hitachi appealed to the third Okage, beseeching him to protect you. He fled the village after threatening other leaders never to harm Sasuke. He worried about you above all else. <sighs> That's a lie. It's got to be a lie. It is the truth. You're lying! tried to kill me over and over! If Hitachi really had wanted to kill you, 
you would most certainly be dead. And Itachi had a reason to pressure you. You can't mean... Itachi arranged everything about that battle. He wanted to free you of the curse mark and Orochimaru. And by having you defeat him, he wanted to set you up as the hero who avenged the Uchiha clan. I won't believe it! He's... Itachi's evil! He's a criminal! He slaughtered our clan and became an Akatsuki! That was part of Itachi's plan as well. Become an Akatsuki, then spy on the organization from the inside. Even after betraying his clan and leaving, Itachi's heart lay with a hidden leaf. And most of all, with you. It's a lie! It's a lie! It's a fact it ever happened! It isn't a lie. He thought more of you then. Stop it! It's all a bit! You're alive, aren't you? <laughs> As a result, your eyes didn't see through Itachi at all. Itachi killed his friends, his superiors, his lover, his father, and his mother. But his little brother alone, he could not kill. He killed all of his own emotions, save for crying tears of blood, and slaughtered his own flesh and blood. But he just couldn't bring himself to kill you. Do you understand what that means? To him, your life was more precious than even the village. Until the very moment of his death. No, even after he died. By allowing you to defeat him, he achieved revenge against the Uchiha clan by making you out to be the Leaf's hero. Ravaged by illness, painfully aware of his impending death, he forcefully prolonged his life with medication. He had to fight you and die in front of you. For the peace of the Hidden Leaf Village, and most of all, for you, Sasuke Uchiha. He desired to die a criminal and a traitor. Accepted disgrace in the place of honor and hate in the place of love. And Itachi still died with a smile on his face. He bequeathed to you the Uchiha name, still fooling you to the very end. is the truth behind Itachi Uchiha. That is how your brother lived.
What's wrong, Sasuke? What do you mean, what's wrong? Today is the day you promised to check my shuriken jutsu, isn't it? Sorry, I have an important mission tomorrow. I have to study, so... Oh, you're a liar! <sighs> Sorry, Sasuke. Maybe next time. <laughs> so to make up for it, I have to piggyback you? Man. Hey, big brother. You're gonna help me with my training next time for real, right? I will. But I'm going to start getting assigned missions. We're not gonna have as much time to ourselves anymore. That's okay. As long as we can be together once in a while. Then it's okay. Sasuke. You are... Hayao. Uh. Oh. Sorry, Sasuke. This is it. We have shed the skin of the snake. We are no longer the Hebi. From this day on, our team will be the Hawk. We are the Taka. Taka shall have but one motive. We exist. To destroy the Hidden Leaf Village. The hawk screamed. Just once into the void. It was a sad voice. An empty voice. And... A voice full of rage. The boy who bore the burden of his ruined clan now quietly turns a lethal knife on that place. Now the curtain rises on war. The revenge of truth, a reckoning of the past. Mourning for his dead brother in his heart. The tale of a new Sasuke Uchiha begins now. <laughs>